Oh, is this thing even in focus? You see, this is how we roll. I know we're recording. I realize that. That's part of the fun right here. Whoa, I'm tilting like a... Okay, how's that? Better? Hey, it's Kid Friday. It's show number 217. I'm Dave. We do the show because you're a kid in a digital world. We're going to be talking on this show. Of course, God, it always ends up somewhere else. It really does. But we're going to be talking about the latest releases from Apple, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the upcoming iPhone, is it the X or is it the 10? We'll clear up that confusion. Uh, also, coming up momentarily, if you are a Spotify user, you might be interested in this little square thing. No, it's not an iPod shuffle. It is called the Mighty, and it is made specifically for Spotify. We uh, had a chance to review it, and we'll tell you much more about it coming up in just a few. Now, on the last show, a couple people told me I said just saying a lot. Okay, so if you can count the number of times that I say just saying and join us on our Facebook page, right? Because we're lame and we have no people. So that's why we actually have a good shot. Um, the more people we get on our Kid Friday Facebook page, the more giveaways we are going to give away. So join our Facebook page at Kid Friday, right on Facebook. And we're going to pick some winners uh, in the coming weeks and months and give away some free cool stuff who doesn't like free cool stuff who doesn't who doesn't just saying Ooh, count that one all right also want to thank everyone who is viewing kid friday on itunes through itunes podcasts kid friday listed under what's hot and also top five, my friends, top five in the top video podcast for kids and family. So thanks so much for making Kid Friday a top five uh, podcast on iTunes. Now, with that said, we're talking about um, uh, the iPhone. By the way, there's some issues with iPhone with the new iPhone. We're talking about that. Um, we're going to talk about iOS 11. Not much. If you are a viewer of this show, I said don't update because there's always stuff going on and they're going to be pushing out new updates. And a week later, they pushed out a new update. Uh, so, all right. Uh, we'll talk about that. And who knows what else. All right. So, should we get this party started? Let's go. I'm looking for that dar darn intro, I think. I have it located. Now I'm going to say it just be, just to say it. I think I found it. Just saying. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh! Let's get this party started. Oh, yippity yay, you, yay, you. Kid Friday brought to you by Story Cup Video Picture Books. It is story time all the time, 24 7. Who doesn't love a great story? Please, Story Cub, tell me a story. Video Picture Books on demand. You going to bed, you got a lazy parent. <clears throat> you know, there's a bunch of lazy parents out there. So, hit storycub.com or look for Story Cub in an iTunes podcast. Or the many other locales where Story Cub can be found. It is story time. You know, and these are awesome picture books. Uh, story Cub is, doesn't just take any picture book and go, eh, eh. There are real people reading a picture book to you or your little brother or sister or your grandma or your cousin on your second side from uh, uh, your grandmother who was three times divorced. I have no idea who, who would that make anybody. 
Regardless, everyone enjoys a good story. You go to storycub.com, again, in iTunes Podcasts. Uh, if you could, write a review on StoryCub if you like StoryCub, because uh, the more StoryCub is featured uh, and gets reviews, it's, um, uh, it shows up more. And then and they're our sponsor, so show some love for StoryCub if you're a fan of Kid Friday. And by the way, if you are a fan of Kid Friday, go in and write a review on Kid Friday because it will get Kid Friday featured more and more kids will learn about kids on Friday. Now, uh, just so you know, I'm not in a good mood. My football team, American football, by the way, um, uh, my football team lost, so I'm not too thrilled. Uh, Kid Friday, along with Story Cub, viewed in over two hundred countries around the world so uh speaking of that you know we're going to be talking about the iphone coming up and everyone in the middle east in the united arab emirates if you're watching in qatar if you're watching in um those areas you, you could get delivery a day late and there and there are some shorts uh, a shortage on parts for this uh the the big one coming out the 10X, X10, what is it? I'll tell you. Don't worry about it. All right. Now, we usually do the outro for Story Cub with this little bear uh, racing down the road. We're going to do that, but we also have a bonus dancing bear. So isn't that exciting? StoryCub.com, iTunes, Story Cub. We love your video picture books, and thanks for being a sponsor right here on Kid Friday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Love that story cup here. A little dance. I, I wish, you know what? I got no moves. Got no moves. All right. If you are a Spotify user and you have a premium account, um, first off, if you do not know what Spotify is, it is a music streaming service. Uh, it is similar. There's some other ones. Like, I guess Apple Music would be a competitor as well as, uh, well, there's a bunch of them. Regardless, I am a Spotify premium user. Now, how much is Spotify? They offer a student discount. They offer a student discount for four ninety nine a month. So uh, go on there, and uh, a word has it. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Ooh, count that one. Uh, you go on to Spotify, you put in any school, it makes it look like it's mumbling and jumbling and it gives you a four ninety nine a month <laughs> subscription. So you need a premium Spotify subscription for the Mighty. Now, did a little unboxing video of this and because this, you can load playlists from Spotify onto your Mighty and you can take it with you so you don't have to use your phone uh, and uh, drain the battery or use data uh, potentially or whatever. Wow, I really ripping that thing apart, huh? Um, uh, wow. It looks, and, and by the way, the box is made of some type of recycled material, I believe. So there it is. It's a nice big box for a little square device. Comes with the cord that charges and sinks and does everything, whatever. Well, I didn't really sink it, but you uh, do need it to uh, recharge your... And it's supposed to it last like five hours. So all right, well, we can watch a bunch of that if you want, but I'm holding one right now as we speak. So uh, there's a spot on there, there's a mighty right there. So this is the mighty. Mighty's right here. Cord is right here, and you do not need a computer to get this thing going. I will say I had a little bit of a learning curve to set up my mighty. Uh, however, they have a website, and I went to their website, bemighty.com. And there are some very casual videos. I like it that way. 
It's not like, we're going to tell you how to use the mighty. No, it's like, hey, all right, I'm going to show you how to how this thing works. What you do is you download the mighty app that is available for your phone, both iOS and Android. And then you use uh, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on your phone through the app, and, and, and uh, it hooks up to the mighty via Bluetooth Wi-Fi, okay? And what you do is this will sync playlists that you have on your Mighty. It will not play individual songs. I guess it could if you made, if you just put one song in a playlist. I've had Mighty, I mean, I've had Spotify for probably, I don't know how long it's been around, but probably five years maybe, something like that. So I have a hundred or so playlists. So what I did is I started syncing my uh, playlist, but before I did that, I'm going to show you some stuff here. Um, it kind of has a, an instructional, it kind of helps, uh, helps you get through the process of syncing all your stuff. And a uh, little bit about the buttons there. If you see the three um, circles in the upper right-hand corner of the Mighty, that's to scroll through the playlists that you um, have synced to the Mighty. So, you'll remain logged into your Mighty account unless you log in with a different account or install the... Okay, it says all that stuff. I had to reset my Mighty. Um, I had to reset it a couple times. Uh, and also, I had to update it a couple times at different periods. Right when I got it, and then uh, just a few days ago, I um, there was an update. No big, deal, no big deal, but it's just you got to get this thing going and um, and do that. But you do need to create an account with Mighty, and then you can sync it with your Spotify premium account that you could, uh, I'm just saying, probably get for $4.99 a month. Okay, so... There you go. It's telling you that Mighty will be able to receive your account data. And then there's the update. You got to keep it plugged in during the update. And again, you're syncing the Mighty with not, uh, you're not syncing it with your computer. You're syncing it with the Mighty app that is on your iOS device or your Android device. So you're going to get that Mighty app, download the app. And then you're going to be able to go back and forth with uh, this uh, jobber dobber right there. Okay, so um, buttons are kind of self-explanatory. There's a I, I've got a better one coming up, but uh, you know, volume up, down, track, whatever. And then again, that one in the upper right-hand corner, um, you can scroll through playlists. So, um, so. Okay, told me this to begin with. There are no playlists on your Mighty. Tap the music tab and sync some playlists. So, am I over here? I'm over here. I'm over here. Look at that. So, I uh, started by syncing a playlist called Stuff You Like. I created a playlist called Stuff You Like. You know why? It includes music of stuff that I like. So, I thought the name was appropriate. Stuff you like. Now, I sync everything at high, um, at, at the best resolution as far as music can go. So if you have a Spotify premium account, you can um, you can stream at three different um, qualities. And I do it at the highest quality, which I believe is 320 kilobytes per second. I am a music fan. I am not an audiophile. I would call myself perhaps an enthusiast but my music has to sound good. And um, this is supposed to hold, I think, like a thousand songs. Like a thousand, I think. I think I got more than that on here. Uh, just saying. So there you go. Kind of tells you what uh, what everything does. But it's, again, it's pretty much self. It's super easy to figure, out, figure that out. Uh, and, oh, that's for something else. So. Here's the deal with the Mighty, all right? Uh, I tested it out a couple different ways. First off, I um, I plugged in some headphones, some earphones, and it worked great. Tried it in the car jack in my car, because it's a car jack. I didn't get, get car jacked. 
I, I have a, a plug in my car. It didn't work, but I know they're working on a update where it will work. However, my earphones, it does work, but it's also Bluetooth. And so the first time I tried it out, I was I went out for a bike ride and I clipped it clipped the mighty right here like this. Something like that, right? Maybe maybe it was like this. I wasn't wearing this, so I don't know. And uh, I um, I synced it with, it was super easy to sync it up with my uh, Bluetooth uh, earphones. I think they're Plantronics, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, I was really surprised on the quality of the music. You know that? The quality of the music was um, really good. The sync was really good, and this thing's super light. It's got a nice clip. I love the clip. So I'm cruising along, and I usually keep uh, one earpiece in my ear so I can, uh, usually my right one, so I can, you know, I like to ride along to some music, but I always keep the other one out because you need to hear traffic. You need to hear someone saying, on your left, or ringing a bell or whatever. So I usually, when I ride my bike, I like music, but I usually listen only on one side. But, um... Great sound quality, though. Uh, and so I was, and again, it was, I was scrolling through playlists. Now, when you hit the playlist button, which is right uh, there, the three little things, you can scroll through playlists, and it actually tells you what playlist it will be playing. So you hit it, boom. Stuff you like, boom. Lou Reed, boom. Reggae. Boom. Power Pop. These are all playlists I created. And it will play the playlist. It will not shuffle the playlist. But then again, I'm the one who put all these songs together. So I know I like them all. Who needs to shuffle what I know I like? So, in conclusion, um, it's a weird price. I forget what it is. Is it fifty eight ninety nine or is it fifty nine eighty eight? It's a little over fifty dollars. Uh, is it worth it? Yes. And, and so here's the cord that comes with it. You sync it. You can plug it in, uh, and then it has a USB on the end, and you you can sync it. Super portable. You don't have to worry about draining the battery on your uh, phone or device, whatever it is you're 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 doing. You can sync it to any Bluetooth device. At least I was able to sync it. I also did a sync to a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, and uh, no problem. You use the Mighty app to do anything you need to do to update this, to sync playlists, whatever. It connects to your Spotify premium account. Again, you need a Spotify premium account to um, to do this. Great clip. I like the clip. And uh, if you have a Spotify premium account, um, here at Kid Friday, we, we really recommend it. It's um, a bit of a learning curve just to set it up. So keep that in mind. It does take a little bit to set it up. But once you are, you're golden, and you can sync. I sync a playlist. I'm like, I wonder how much room that's going to take, and it said like 17%. And then I did another playlist, and it said 29%. And then I did another playlist, because I wasn't sure how much. Another play And I just kept doing more and more and more playlists. This thing holds a lot, and it's small, light, portable, Bluetooth, um, Wow. So, thanks, Mighty. If you want to get more information, you can go right there, bemighty.com, and uh, you can get it there. Where? That's right, bemighty.com. And um, made specifically for a Spotify premium user. Is that you? If it, it's me. I'm a, I'm a premium user, have been for a long time. And um, there you go. So, yeah, well, why not? I just, because all I have to do is do a click. So, click, be mighty, just saying. All right, count that one. Now, let us move on. So, thanks again to Mighty for uh, putting on a great product. And, uh, by the way, also, uh, the volume 
one thing that does concern me is there are some things that I've used where the volume doesn't get loud enough. This gets plenty loud. Uh, so, uh, just saying. If you're keeping track, there's one. Okay, see, do, do, do. let's talk about, uh, you know, the big surprise with Apple, of all things, is not the iPhone 8 or the 8 Plus, it's this. Uh, and this is the Apple Watch Series 3. Uh, and why is, it so, uh, why is it so popular? Why are people actually buying this? Because it has connectivity. It has... Uh, um, no vulnerability. I'm trying to think of thing, things that rhyme. Uh, <laughs> it has uh, no instability, although there is an update. Uh, <laughs> there is an update to it. It does have a little bit of instability. Uh, it has cellular, so it, it's actually, uh, you can hook it up with your cellular phone, your cellular network. You can answer your phone on your watch. On this one, we're gonna. There's so much going on with the watch that we're gonna dedicate uh, some more time on the next show. I think for for the um, for the Apple Watch Series Three, but this one, if you and by the way, um, the uh, if you have an older model, iOS 11 will update that, and we're gonna talk about iOS 11 on a future show as well. But we're gonna show you that now. I said, remember. I, if you're a kid front of viewer, I said do not update to iOS 11 because there's always stuff that goes wrong. And this, uh, and they always push out new updates. Well, a week after release of the iOS 11, um, well, Apple had to put out an update, so now it's 11.0.1. Users are complaining of bugs from fast-draining batteries and app crashes. Also reporting random shutdowns. So, uh, but iOS 11 in a whole includes a redesigned control center, more emojis, and new Siri voice, which is great if everything works. But users are reporting a significant drop as well in performance after updating it and part of that has to do with um, kind of a crackling noise when you're using your phone and or listening to music or but you know if you're talking to someone it's hard <coughs> people are saying that it's getting um, it cuts in and out so Apple has released 11.0.1 if you have not updated if you have not updated to iOS 11 like myself, I say don't, because 11.0.1 came out just a week later. And there's going to be a few more updates coming up soon. Just guessing. That doesn't count. I said just guessing. Uh, and I would, uh, as as in past shows, I, you know, when you get a major update, wait. Wait. Uh, and so I'm probably going to wait till 11.0.3 comes out, which will probably be about six days. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not. But uh, anyway, there, there are there are always issues. And so um, really cool stuff, though. We're going to be talking about iOS 11 on a future show because there are um, – matter of fact, we're going to share some things that are on iOS 11. We'll do it on the next show that you – probably would not would not find on your own that are really cool. So um, stick around for that. If you have updated to iOS 11, get the update to iOS 11, 11.0.1. And uh, if you have not gotten iOS 11, our recommendation, just hang in there. You're fine. Okay. So let's get into the iPhones. So Apple released two iPhones. Uh, and there's one on the way. You can pre-order it on the 24th of October. Um, but first, let's talk about what they uh, what they came out with. And um, we're not going to spend a ton of time with it. And I don't mean to be... Oh, by the way, you know what? Let's just switch things up. What's this? Taylor Swift on the side of a UPS truck. Now, I've spoken with, the, um, with Taylor Swift's ma manager. It's been a while, but this guy is sharp as a nail. And... Um, great marketing. Sorry, 
I know it's kids stuff, whatever, but great marketing. Taylor Swift. And what you doing with their lips? What's up with that? I have no idea. Reputation. What kind of a reputation? That must be the name of her album, right? Is that a good reputation or a bad reputation? Just saying. Every time I say that, now I'm catching myself, see? So mark that one down. Okay, so the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus are out. Very exciting news, maybe, if you are one of those. So, um, more problems. iPhone 8, the crackling through the phones on this one. I'm going to tell you where to get the best deal, by the way, if you want one. Hang in there. So, there are some issues with the iPhone 8, the 8 Plus. It does have wireless charging, which is nice if you're lazy and you cannot plug a cord in. Wireless charging is made just for you. It's going to cost you a little more, but you can just put it on there, and it charges wirelessly. Now, the ML, uh, these new 8s, okay, so they're out right now. You can get them. So, they're, you know, of course, there's always glass on the front of an iPhone. Isn't there always glass on the front of an iPhone? Yeah. Well, there's glass on the back of the new iPhone as well. Uh, and Apple is saying this is, like, super strong glass, and it is, like... Like a heck of a heck of a deal, you know. If people are having issues with shattering glass on their, they get a new phone, and a little tiny drop, and the glass is shattering. And Apple, there's the front and the back right there. Apple has imposed some new rules. They're they're laying down the law. All right, so here's the deal. If you buy, if you buy Apple Care, if you get the new iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, if you get the Apple, if you get Apple Care, you break your screen or crack your screen, right? Um, you could bring it in, and it'll cost you twenty nine dollars to get it uh, replaced. If you do not have Apple Care, it'll cost you ninety nine dollars to have the glass replaced. Now, let's say you break it again, because I know plenty of people who have multiple times broken the glass on their iPhone. So the second time, Apple, if you have Apple Care, it'll charge $29, if not $99, okay? Let's say you break it a third time. They're like, oh, three strikes, <laughs> you're out of here. Because on the new iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, if you break your glass a third time, you bring it in, they're going to charge $349 and just replace that phone. Or $399 if it is an iPhone 8 Plus. So uh, a lot of shattering glass going on. I think they might end up changing that because a lot of people are having issues with this glass. And I don't know what the deal is because, look, it's supposed to be super durable. Super durable. What kind of durable? That's right, super durable. Another thing uh, regarding the glass that people are experiencing that uh, I've seen reported is, you know, how you take your phone, you just you just kind of um, you just kind of throw it in your back pocket or whatever. You don't have anything in there, but people are reporting that the glass is getting scratched for no really apparent reason. Uh, it, in other words, it, they're not putting a knife up to it or anything, and they're just throwing it in their pocket or whatever, and um, uh, it scratches very easily. So, uh, there you go. Now, if you want it, after all said and done, here's, kids, here's Kid Friday's recommendation. And I'm going to tell you where to get the best deal because there's already a deal out. If you own an iPhone 6 or 7, I have two sixes. Um, if you own a six or a seven, yes, there are better features on the eight, but I don't know if you necessarily need them. Or uh, you know, it's it's this 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 is more of a uh, update to the phone. It's cool, but it's not groundbreaking. I say hold on to your phone 
if you own a six or a seven. If you own a five, you want to upgrade, you can do so. And Apple has released some um, pricing here. Uh, check this out. So uh, they have the SE, um, but the iPhone 6S, 449. That's a starting price. That's 32 gig, I believe. iPhone 7 starting at 549. The iPhone 8, 699. And the iPhone whatever, I'll tell you what it is, just a second, is somehow surprisingly the prices blocked by that Kid Friday logo. How convenient. Just, nah, I'm not going to say it. All right, but look at us. Walmart already 100 bucks off. 100 bucks off an iPhone 8. Now, there is a stipulation. Basically, if you um, are using or would like to use T-Mobile, it does not work on that network. At least this deal doesn't. So... Uh, Walmart offering $100 off on an iPhone 8 if you want to use Verizon, if you want to use Sprint, AT&T, not a problem. You can go in there and get $100 off right now. Now, don't forget, Black Friday is coming up, and there are always deals on iPhones on Black Friday. Also, Cyber Monday. So, if you need a phone right away, you know, it's one thing if you can wait. Wait, and if you own a five, if you upgrade to a six, six S, that, that's a huge upgrade. It really is. It's a huge upgrade. If you upgrade from a six to a seven, it's okay. And if you upgrade from a seven to eight, it's okay. I mean, you definitely, you know, better stuff, but not, nothing, I mean, you get by fine. Don't worry about it. But... Let's just say the holidays are coming up and you want a phone. What do you ask for? Pfft, an eight. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Unless you want the big boy. Yeah. Unless you want the big boy. Where is that? Right there. Ooh. Oh, it's right there. I can almost grab it. Oh, I could just almost grab it. It's right there. Oh, look at that. It's the iPhone. What are you going to call it? What's your bet? Is it a X? Is it a 10? Can I put my face in the middle of it? What do you think? What are you going to call it? A last chance? Is it the X or is it the 10? It is officially the 10. Why? Well, Apple says that it is called the iPhone 10. Because, and this is the big boy, this is, this is the groundbreaking phone that all these features will end up on upcoming phones as well. But um, Apple says it's the iPhone 10 because it's the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. And so they wanted to call it the iPhone 10. I think personally that it is also part of a marketing ploy. Because they don't want to be behind Samsung. Because if they just come out with the 8, then all of a sudden Samsung you know, has the 8 out now. So Samsung comes out with the 9. All of a sudden they got the 9, and Apple has the 8. So Apple's like, why don't we just skip over 9 and go to 10? And that way we're, right now we're two ahead of Samsung. Not really. They're both great phones. It has nothing, and it has nothing to do with anything. It's just marketing. Uh <laughs> And then, is Samsung going to come out with the 11? Are they going to jump from 8 to 11? <laughs> I don't know. But it is. Uh, this is officially the iPhone, uh, the iPhone 10. And this has face recognition. So you'll be able to just look at your phone and unlock it. It also has a bigger processor. It has a beautiful, you know, and on a past show, we mentioned OLED. And I said... Uh, is it going to matter to you? And I'm like, yeah, it is. And this is organic light emitting diodes. What does it mean? It means that uh, it's a basically a retina screen, a beautiful, beautiful picture. If you um, like, if you watch a video, if you like to watch a video, uh, this is the phone for you. This is the phone for you. Of course, you could buy a computer for about the same price. Um, but let's take a look here. and ta Oh, that's something else. So um, there you go. Wow. How's that guy? See that guy there? How's he going to fit that giant phone in his pocket? That phone's 
four, four times the size of him. You're going to have to have some pretty big, a pretty big pocket there. The iPhone 10 starts. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, I'll throw the prices on here again. <laughs> I'll take I'll take off the little Kid Friday logo so you'll know. Okay, here you go. Boom, nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. That is the starting price. Again, if you do, if you want one of those, well, here, well, actually, a couple things. Yeah, I kind of like that covering up the price. Uh, if you can come closest without going over, how much? There it is. Okay. So if you can hold off, you might be in trouble. So there's a shortage of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo was restless. He was ready to kill. No, that's part of an, El that's an Elvis Costello song off My Aim is True. Um, don't worry about it. It's a song called Mystery Dance. All right, so. The thing is this. Uh, Romeo and Juliet are parts for this new iPhone 10 that have to do, do with face recognition. There is a shortage of these parts. So if you are absolutely have to have this phone, pre-orders are starting on October 27th, and they will ship... November 4th, except in the Mideast. Again, uh, if you're in Kuwait, uh, I mentioned Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, um, pre-order still October 27th, and um, but they're going to ship on November 5th for those countries. Because Kid Friday is viewed in over 200 countries, and those are definitely... Some of the countries, so if you're a viewer there, um, you'll just receive it late. Now, with that said, if you could, you could pre-order it, and the pre-orders may be so big, and they don't have an. There's a shortage. There, there's these chip analysts out there that are saying, and I, unless this is hype, but they're saying that there is a shortage of a couple key components to the new iPhone 10 that um, will limit dr dr drastically the number of orders Apple can fulfill at the time of release. So October 27th, if you have to have one of these and have $1,000, order it right away. Uh, are there going to be deals on Black Friday and Cyber Monday? It depends on the parts, I think. I think it depends. I... I th uh, they haven't even started building the phone yet. So I think there's some time to potentially get the, get some parts in. So that's that's that. Okay. What's Taylor Swift doing on this bus? I mean, on the UPS truck. <laughs> Look at that. Now, if you're a fan of UPS, that's good. Because if you're a fan of Taylor Swift, I guess that's good as well. Yeah, if you're not then don't worry about it all right so i think you know everything uh, there is about the uh the iphone again the eight we were not going to go into the specs they're they're more impressive than the seven okay makes sense uh again our recommendation if you own a six or a seven no need to go to an eight right away uh if you are having a birthday coming up ask for the eight who wouldn't? <laughs> and that is that. We're going to wrap things up here because I had some technical problems earlier. And all sorts of stuff. By the way, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll put, you know, I, don't, I wonder if I can pull it up on here, actually. Um, let, me, let me take a quick look here. As long as we're, we've got a couple minutes here. Let's uh, let's take a quick look and see if I can find what I'm looking for, as you two would say. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, here's one chart. So um, a couple shows back, we talked about uh, how Apple stopped uh, producing the iPhone Nano and the iPod Shuffle. So here's a chart, and you're not going to be able to see it too well, but I'm going to... There's a chart. Do you see the chart? Can you see the chart? Kind of. 
Well, put it this way. It goes up and it goes down. So the revenue of Apple the, the sales of the iPod that, that contributed to Apple's revenue uh, basically peaked in uh, 2000, 2008, $4.8 million. Now, uh, and that's that's when it accounted for almost, well, actually, no, actually it peaked in 06 revenue-wise. Um, but it is down to 1%. It was about 40% at its peak. In other words, at 40% of all Apple sales had to do with iPods at one particular time, and we're talking about over 10 years ago. Now it only accounts for 1% of their revenue. So they're like, why do we keep making this stuff? Everybody has iPhones, and they just listen to music on their iPhone. There's no reason to buy a separate device. They still are manufacturing the iPod Touch, which is basically an iPhone without the phone. So that's that. And I find I might have another chart. I do. I do. Oh, it's the same. It's the same chart. So just um, that's so. So they're uh, they're still out there, by the way. Uh, in other words, Apple stopped uh, manufacturing them, but they're still available right now. And once they're gone, they're gone. So if you want an iPod Shuffle or Nano, you, um, you can still buy them new uh, for as long as they're around, which I think probably maybe there's about a two-month, three-month supply left. But you can check Target. You can check other places online and see if, uh, if you want one, if, if they have it. Uh, and then don't forget about the Mighty. We like the Mighty. Because we we like Spotify, so isn't that interesting? Apple ditches the shuffle. The mighty comes out that looks just like the shuffle, um, but it works with a streaming music service. You can't put your own songs in. I used to get a call. Hey, can I buy the new Jonas Brothers song? For yeah, it's a dollar. Okay, go ahead. Who listens to that anymore? I'd rather lease my music. It's great. It's great stuff. So thanks again to the folks at Mighty. Again, you can go to BeMighty.com, BeMighty.com, and learn more about the Mighty and purchase right from them if you're interested in that. Uh, do we have anything else? Uh, oh, I was going to mention this. Uh, so Apple has a quick charge cord. If you have an, an 8 or if you're going to get this 10, they have a quick charge cord that costs $25. That is, um, uh, they're going to USB-C. But it still needs to hook up to your phone. They have a 29-watt charger that you can buy directly from Apple. Or you can go on uh, Amazon and you can order. Um, I just picked out one. Um, where is it? Right. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Um, oh, it's up by the iPhone. So that's why. Um, here you go right here. So um, Anchor is just one of the uh, companies that make it. So you still need to buy the $25 cord if you want to quick charge your phone. But you can buy this is actually not a 29-watt adapter. They did one better than Apple. This is a 30-watt USB-C connector. USB-C, hopefully, will become the standard everywhere. Wouldn't it be great if I have a, I was going to say I have a drawer of cords, but that would be, um, that would be incorrect. I have multiple drawers of cords that I'd love to get rid of if we could all come to a standard and be one happy cord community. But there's so much money to be made on these cords that. I think it's going to be a while, at least for Apple. I wonder what the revenue is on cords. It's fantastic. It's a good, 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 good business plan. All right. Um, I did go to Costco with my friend Steve. Nah, I'm not going to for, uh, forget about it. Uh, this has been a 2017 Kid Friday production, all rights reserved. Don't mess with us or... Or 
we don't want to send a cease and desist. You know what that is? Just Google it. All right, just saying. Boom, there's another one for you. Join our Facebook page. That is what you really, really, really need to do. Go to Facebook, tell all your friends, and once we reach a certain undisclosed number, we are going to pick people out at random who like our Facebook page and send them free stuff. And who doesn't love free stuff? And again, thanks for making Kid Friday top five in iTunes, viewed in over 200 countries. Thanks so much. And write a review if you watch us in iTunes or YouTube or wherever it is you're accessing Kid Friday. We certainly appreciate that very much. We like to end with the beginning, so uh, check this out. And you know what? I'm going to throw the bear in after the dancing bear. You know, yeah, I'm going to throw that in at the end just for fun. Talk to you on the next Kid Friday. Bye bye. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh! <laughs> Let's get this party started. All right, just mess with you.